Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today on a Sunday filming another haul for you guys and I have both a ASOS and H&M haul. The ASOS one was super impromptu and I ordered last night and it came on a Sunday which I don't recall ASOS ever doing that so that was good and I have a couple of dresses that I ordered for my mum because we have a few things going on um, in the next kind of month or so and she wanted a nice pretty dress and then I also got myself some dresses for my boyfriend's birthday that's coming up and I really have no idea what to wear. I also don't know what the weather's going to be like so that kind of puts like a spin on everything and I need you guys' help to help me choose what to wear. And then the H&M stuff is like really great transitional winter knitwear that I'm so excited to show you guys and I hope it's going to be good because I have done some epic epic H&M haul videos where I found some great knits. But I so thought let's start with the ASOS stuff first because it's much smaller than the H&M and go from there. If you guys are wondering, my jumper is from Glossier. I'm going for a real chill Sunday vibe. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Depop, I have been selling some clothes on there. So definitely check me out. I will put my um, link on here and uh, I am adding to it like every now and again. Like I've got some jeans that I've got to add. Um, I've actually got them here. I've got some Topshop editor jeans that I want to add and stuff like that so stay tuned for that. Also in terms of my hair I have a really really amazing new um, curling wand that I was kindly gifted by GHD and this is how I've been getting my hair to wave the way it is and I'm so happy with it. So I have a hair video that will be coming in the next few weeks, not right now. Um, I'm also getting my hair hopefully coloured next weekend so lots of stuff going on basically. I don't know why I needed to babble all of that, but let's get on and show you guys the ASOS stuff which I've just opened. This is probably the dress that I'm most excited about. So it's not going to be anything like super dressy or anything, but I kind of am going for a smart casual vibe. And I saw this dress and I thought it was a little bit different. I kind of don't want to wear white because I just feel like drinks, accident, food, cake, accident, but I'm 27 years old, let's hope that I don't make that much of a mess. But I'm probably the most accident prone person ever. So this is the dress. ASOS, I love all your packaging, but it's kind of a lot. And it's a blazer dress, obviously. And it's by a brand called Fourth Reckless, which I've never heard before. And by the way, I got most of the dresses, I think all of the dresses in a size 10. And it's just like a mini blazer dress with a cutout at the front. You guys know, always have issues in the bust situation, so let's see how this goes with the right bra and everything. It was really, really gorgeous on the model, so I'm kind of hoping that it will look good on me too. This is my mum's dress, so I'm not actually gonna open it because I want to, I want her to open it, but I will put a picture of the dresses that I got for my mum, which I think this is another one, yes. I kind of tried to get like summery dresses, but not too summery so that if it is a little bit of a cloudier day, I can wear, you know, I won't look silly wearing a summery dress. I then got this one, which I thought was cute, but I'm not so sure I want to go for a floral vibe. I just really liked the shape of this. And it's an off the shoulder. Oh, it looks very small. I don't think my hips are going to fit in this. I really don't think they are. If they don't, I will put a picture up. But it is actually really pretty. I'm just not so sure of the print. Um, just like off the shoulder dress, but doesn't that look minuscule? I don't think I'm gonna fit in this guys. I really 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 tone But it is really pretty dress nonetheless. This was more of a dark horse kind of item Because I actually bought everything as a mini so this is a maxi But I really liked the colors in this and I think this would look really cool and it's a Wrap style front dress, but again with me. I always have to like mess around with the bust of stuff um, billowy sleeve dress and it is as I said a maxi oh my god it has a slit I did not realize that does it have a slit I think so oh gosh okay maybe the slit isn't a great thing either for me you know how it is sometimes when you're like ordering stuff especially later at night you don't really look at all the details and then the back is backless but it looks like the bra situation can be covered so I could wear a bra um, I love the colours of this. It kind of looks similar to the dress that I wore on my birthday, which was from a brand called Bardot that ASOS carries. Um, so it kind of gave me that same vibe, but I don't know also whether it's a little too 
dressy. I'm not sure. Then, can you guys tell I'm desperate? I also ordered this dress, which has a similar vibe. I was going for like a frilly, either like off the shoulder or like frill sleeve dress. This is from the In The Style Saffron Barker collection, I think. Saffron Barker, I hope that's how I say her name. She's lovely. Um, and again, it's like a wrap style dress with great sleeves. I actually like the material. It's synthetic, but it doesn't feel cheap. And it's got a lovely pattern. I think I actually prefer this pattern to that like floral one. So let's see how that goes. Okay, these dresses all look really small. I have lost some weight, but I don't, I, they just don't, do not look like they're going to fit me. Um, I'm going to call this a Cinderella dress, like a mini Cinderella dress. You guys know, I don't have to keep saying this, I feel like I'm saying it in every video, I love the colour blue. Like, I just love a navy, a dark blue, a blue, just, I think it looks beautiful. And does this or does this not look like Cinderella's dress, but the mini version? It looks really cool on the model, it has a belt, I thought I could wear it with some like, silvery heels or something, but I don't know... I don't know whether it's just a little too puff. I could look ridiculous. Maybe it's not a good idea to order stuff online late at night. This H&M, this H&M box is huge, as you can see. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna have to just put it here to open it. Oh gosh. Okay, basically, I have a really good relationship with H&M. I feel like they have some really standout pieces. And I think their two seasons that are just like the best are summer. So like their bikinis, their sarongs, their swimwear accessories. And then the autumn stuff is just incredible. Like I love their jumpers um, and things like that. So I really do have some really cool stuff here. And I'm so excited to show you one of these especially. Look at these earrings, you guys. Okay, if anyone stalks the Misoma website as much as I do, you'll know that these look identical to some Misoma earrings that I've actually been wanting to buy for a while now, but I just, I just, sometimes I'm like, well, you just need to just not spend £100 on a piece of jewellery. Um, and these are literally like £4. I will definitely link them down below. They are so beautiful. I then got this jumper, which is so not me, but I thought I really wanted to show it to you guys in case this is something that you guys would be into. I don't know if it's going to look that great on me, but I feel like my job on here is also to show you guys things that I would pick for someone else. And this is so, if you guys watch Sheer Lux, this is so, like, all the girls in the Sheer Lux office wear, like, collared jumpers and stuff. And... It just looks amazing on them. As I said, I just don't know whether I could pull it off, but this is so Georgie Coleridge Cole um, or one of the other ladies in the offices kind of vibe, I feel like. And they do it in different colors. So it's not just this kind of like creamy color. I think they do a darker color too. I then got this like shacket thing. Is it a shacket? Check jacket? Don't know what we want to call it. And again, it's a blue, so we're going to love it. And I got this in a size medium. I do think actually H&M sizes run up quite big, but it's a really, really great, like more lightweight jacket. It would actually look really cool over something like I'm wearing today, like a jumper, if you want a layer or a t-shirt. And as I said, because it's thin, it's really good for this time of year where it's kind of not hot, it's kind of not cold. You don't really know what's going on and it's all very confusing. I then got a really cute bag, again, to show you guys. I don't know if this is going to remind anybody of something. Um, and the great thing about this bag is it has a strap. And honestly, it does not have like a cheapy, leathery material smell, um, which I'm really, really conscious of. You can put this inside and I think that looks so much more expensive. That just makes a great, great clutch. I do not think that was more than like £20. So really cool. What is this? I think I also got few like work wear the bits if I don't if I'm not saying that mistakenly this I'm not so fond of I think this does look a little cheap this I got this blouse for work but I think the front of it doesn't look great I think it looks a little bit cheap um, the materials fine it's just I'm not so fond of the front bit but I can always try that on for you guys or put a picture up of the model okay then knits ah so excited because this is what they do so well. Oh my god, it feels good. It feels really good. This is a black v-neck jumper from the... Actually, it's not v-neck. It's like a... It's a funny shape. 
uh, jumper from the trend section and as soon as I saw this I fell in love with this I've seen this for a while and um, I just kept like putting it off and putting it off buying it but it's such a good material and it's such a cool shape um, I don't actually think they had a lot of sizes left on this but I got a size small because as I said I do feel like H&M stuff runs a little bit big so you might actually be a bit smaller than you think um, whereas normally in Zara and stuff like that I would always go for a medium I then got this blouse because I thought this was really really pretty with like a blazer I would never personally wear something like this um, or is this a night slip? did I get it as a night slip? no this is maybe a night slip I don't know what I ordered. <laughs> Maybe this is like a night slip. It must be because it's a bit longer. Okay, if this is a night slip, I'm not trying this on. But they do really, really beautiful nightwear. Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought that was a blouse. I'm sure I was looking at camis, but evidently not. Did I go a little red there? It's pretty. It's just black little slip. H&M are also really good for their houseware. You know, like just comfy clothes like joggers and stuff like that and I always always feel like they last really well and I got some green joggers and I got these in a medium and I think they come in a set but I really liked the color of these you know just for lounging I sometimes feel like all my jogging bottoms look so scraggly and horrible but this is a really lovely green it's like a sage light green really cool and they do that in loads of colors I think like a pink a gray a black um, loads of colours. Really loserish, but I love table runners. I don't know what it is. I just love a table runner and I love linen. So I got myself for our table a table runner. And also, I feel like in the four years that I've lived here, I feel like I've spilt stuff on all of ours and they've got all like, you know, messy looking now. So this is just a beautiful linen table runner. I don't think it was very expensive. I think it was like eight pounds and they're just great I, like I said I've got so many of theirs and they're just brilliant so if you're into a table runner this is going to go perfectly with my um, decor also guys I'm doing a bit of a refresh in the house um, with nothing like crazy just literally updating a few things like pictures and stuff like that so please be excited for that because that's going to be really exciting I just love home decor and I honestly do feel like sometimes I like it even more than clothes. So um, I'm really excited to see that. I also love H&M jeans. I, when I visited their showroom, I think it was last year, and tried on their jeans, I was astounded to the quality because normally I'm a Topshop or Zara kind of jeans girl. But I saw these from their Conscious range, which obviously is great. And I really liked like the shape of them and the color as well. And they are not disappointing in real life. And it's just some like washed black jeans and I really 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 like these they're called the vintage slim which vintage slim straight fit I'm not happy with the lighting today guys I'm really sorry this is a shirt again that I think I was looking at for ages and just kept, kept putting off buying uh, from H&M and it's just like a wrap shirt looks amazing on the model it's got like puff sleeves uh, would look really cool for like a dinner or something if you kind of want to do like nice top and jeans which is obviously like fail safe and I just really really liked it I just really love a white blouse that's a bit more interesting and I think that's from the trend section as well I am really sorry guys honestly about the lighting I can see so much glare here and I've tried to close the the windows but guys honestly I don't have time anymore in my life to sit and like set up lighting it's just natural lighting all the way I then have this jumper from, again, obviously H&M. This is much more like a thick style jumper. And I love these jumpers. I feel like I've got so many like stripy jumpers in my life. Like I, I really don't need more. But again, I just, it was the excuse of also showing it to you guys. And this is a great material because it feels like it's, um, it's not gonna kind of just get messed up one when you wash it and stuff like that. I really liked the neck of it. The fact that the stripe is quite simple. The arms I'm not so sure about. What do we think? I like a more tapered arm so I can do this with it. But um, we will see. We will try that on anyway. And see how that goes. We're getting to the end guys. We're getting to the end. It's looking like I've got some more underwear. I'm not going to be able to return this. So I'm just going to have to keep this. 
I don't think I was meaning to get more underwear, but you guys know that underwear that I love. No, I was definitely not meaning to get any more. I think this is like a darker nude. So actually that gives you guys an indication. I think the ones I got last time were a little bit lighter, but I feel like this matches my skin tone actually a little bit better. So I don't know how this was not meant to happen, but again, I don't think I'll be able to return those and I get wear out of them anyway. Then I got this for, um, I really enjoy going on walks and stuff like that much more than I used to. And sometimes I don't want to wear like a jacket. And I saw this and my boyfriend actually has something really similar to this. And I thought it would be kind of cool. And I liked the color of it too. It's just like a pullover with a zip in like a creamy color. Really casual, great as I said, just for walking and stuff like that will keep you nice and warm. So soft, like super duper soft. And I got that in a medium. Let me leave you guys before this lighting drives really crazy. And this is more of a like thicker style jumper. And it's in a crop. Just the kind of thing we love to layer with like dresses. This would look really cool with a satin skirt or something, um, or just a pair of jeans or something like that. Um, but this is what H&M is good for. So thank you for watching guys. I will see you all soon. Let me know which item obviously was your favorite. Everything will be linked down below. So definitely go and check that out. I'll see you guys all soon. Take care, bye.